a motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you guys so much for watching tune in we're back with another vloggy vlog for the week i literally just got back from turks yesterday um by the time this is uploaded of course that vlog will already be uploaded so go check that out i'm a little out of breath because we just had to rush to get ready because we're going to a boxing match something called ote otf i don't know ot something but it's a boxing match so we're gonna head out there and then go out after so i just want to go ahead and start the vlog here i thought i was gonna be chilling like i said i just got back from turks yesterday so i plan on being in all weekend but of course my boyfriend being a bad bad example was like okay well we got a boxing tournament to go to how can i say no like how can i say no you know so we ain't really never had no old money we got a whole lot of new money though <laughs> Turks vlog and getting back into um, my routine, my schedule, getting back in the gym, eating healthy, trying to detox, all of that, drinking and everything. Girl, it was a lot. That whole weekend, that whole week was a blur. We had a good time. Now we're back into the swing of things. And I did want to go ahead and shout out today's sponsor, which is Ritual. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So you guys know I'm a big advocate for taking your vitamins and supplements because for one, it's really hard to get all of your nutrients from just the food you eat. Especially me, I would I try my best to eat a healthy diet, but it is not 100% balanced and perfect and you're getting everything you need from three square meals a day. It's just not, I'm not gonna say it's not realistic, but it's not realistic for me. I did wanna introduce Ritual. I worked with them before and I do love these vitamins. This is the multivitamin 18 plus essential for women. So I've been taking this for the last few weeks maybe about a month now, you take two a day. And what I like about Ritual is that you can trace everything that's in it. When it comes to the ingredients, you can look at it and be like, okay, I know why that's in there. I know what's going on. I know where it came from. So you can be so worried about what you're eating all day. You don't wanna have to worry about what's in your vitamins. Okay, you'll be surprised. The last thing I wanna worry about is my vitamins. So I take two and they're easy on your stomach. They're made that way so you can take them with or without food. Pop two. So I'm encouraging all of you girlies to start a daily ritual that you feel good about. Ritual's offering a 30% off for your first month. You can scan my QR code on the screen or go to ritual.com slash AlexisRebecca30 to start today. Take your vitamins and supplements, guys. Y'all know it's important. Y'all know it's very important to get your vitamins in. We love clean ingredients, clean vitamins. So where did I leave off at, guys? Genuinely, I might have to go back and look at the footage and see where I left off. Oh, we were at the boxing match. That was actually really, really fun. That boxing match was real fun. It made me want to actually sign up for uh, kickboxing again because I've done, I've done, it, I've done it a few times. Okay, but yeah, it was cool. It was fun. I don't know what I'm gonna get into today. Uh. Oh, we have to talk ultimatum. Oh my God. I was talking about it with y'all on my freaking Instagram story, but we'll talk later. I have to literally unpack. I haven't unpacked yet, which is crazy. I'm gonna unpack, do some other boring stuff, and then I'll come back this evening and we'll chat and make dinner and do some other stuff. But girl, we gotta talk.
y'all next day here. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're actually headed to have a picnic park day at Piedmont Park. We're bringing babes with us. Teddy's coming with us and we're just gonna chill. I made some sandwiches, got my picnic bag packed and we're headed, we gotta stop by Target because we're gonna get a trolley, not a trolley. One of them little things you can pull all the stuff in because who wants to carry all that stuff throughout the park? Stop by Target, head to Piedmont. Outfit of the day is another Hilaris set. I'm gonna do a little, um, cause I ordered more stuff. So I'm gonna do a little clothing haul. But I got the black one to so the white one and it's so cute and it's perfect. Hey, and it's perfect for a picnic day. So we out, gonna put some sneakers on. Are you excited to be going on a field day? Yeah? He needs groomed, y'all. He can hardly see. Not we spent the last hour at Target and Walmart and online trying to find a wagon. <laughs> when really we could have been at the park, been carried the stuff to our spot, got settled in. But we don't want to carry the stuff all through the park, guys. Target didn't. Well, Target had one, but it was like for $160 for a wagon. Girl, stop. Because this is why I shop on Amazon. So he said, let's go check Walmart. If not Walmart, then we want to go to another store. But I think it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's getting ridiculous. We're going to miss all the sun. We're going to miss all the people. All the doggies. I don't know. Last time we took Teddy, this is between us. All right. Last time we took Teddy to the dog park, he was really, so, and I know it's not his fault. I don't know what's going on with him. It, he was so embarrassing that we had to leave early okay he got attracted to this one dog and he just kept humping this dog he kept, it, there was there was literally 50 other dogs around that we wanted him to play with get socialized with hang out like learn how to play teddy but he just kept going straight to this one dog and humping the dog humping the dog sniffing the dog humping the dog he and we tried to pull him away about literally 10 times after the 10th time we were like okay i don't know what it is you have with this dog remember that teddy teddy Teddy, remember? Anyway, and it was just so embarrassing. We were like, we don't know. I feel like he just needs to be around dogs more and learn how to really play. Because Teddy, humping a dog is not playing with a dog. Like, we literally had to collect him. Vontae had to pick him up and we had to leave. Our heads down in shame because we had the only dog there that was just humping. Hump. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> so hopefully... We find some other dogs at the park that he plays with and he's not trying to, you know, do that the whole time. It was so embarrassing. Are you going to behave today at the park? Are we going to see if he's going to behave? Okay, it looks like Vontae was able to grab a wagon. Y'all nephew once again making a damn mess. Having a ball. The whole time Piedmont Park is dumb lit. I don't know, I think it's like a little festival, carnival going on over there, a little concert over there. I had no idea. I mean, we should have known it's Labor Day weekend. Should have known it was going to be a lot going on in Atlanta, girl. It's mad to park. That's why it took us 30 minutes to find somewhere to park. Anyway. Why would you be so confused? Teddy, that is not what he told you to do. Now you know I don't usually drink drinks like this. I'm a shot girl. But I'm gonna support the local businesses out here. She said it's tequila in it. So we're gonna try it out. Ooh. That's liquor. <laughs> but it's good, it's good. Vontae took Teddy to the dog park and now I'm bored. So I'm trying to figure out, I need your opinion. Vontae's birthday is at the end of the month. So we're gonna do a dinner for him. And I wanna get some of the big letters. I wanna get the, y'all you, you know what I'm talking about. When people have dinner parties or parties in general, they have the big letters. He's turning 30, so I want to get him a 30 sign. Should I pay someone to do it? Calling all, like, um, I know there's some, like, party planners and stuff that follow me, hopefully. Should I just pay?
pay someone. These are the letters I'm talking about. These big letters. You see how big these are? But the DIY in me wants to do it myself. Do you think I could DIY this? Or is it something I should just pay someone? <laughs> Maybe, because it's his. If it was my birthday, I would DIY the shit. But since it's his, I'm like, I don't know, I want to do the balloon thing, I want to do the number thing. But that would be fun to do with y'all at DIY and I always have y'all support, right? I always got y'all support, right? <laughs> coming back. I was bored. Hi. How was he? Good. He wanna play all day. He wants to play? No one was wanna, wanna play though. They don't wanna play with him? Oh, they didn't wanna play with Teddy. Wasn't humping at least, right? Okay, he wasn't humping nobody. I'm sorry they didn't wanna play with you. I'll play with you. What's up, y'all? It's the next day, and I'm here at the mall about to go to Zara to try to find some things to wear. I'm going to New York Fashion Week, and I didn't even know. My manager called me while I was in Turks, and she was like, you know you're going to Fashion Week. And I'm like, no. I didn't know I'm going to Fashion Week, but I looked in my closet this morning. I'm like, I, got no I don't have nothing to wear. Like, I don't have anything to wear. So I leave in two days. So I have no option but to find some things to wear in this mall. Okay. I'm going to Zara. There's a new store called Mango in Perimeter Mall. That's kind of giving um, like Aritzia, Zara vibes. So those are the only two stores. That's the only two stores. If not, then maybe we're going to be shopping in New York. We going to see. Um, I'm going to take y'all with me. Wish me luck, y'all. Okay, let's see what's gonna look cute. Let me show y'all what I got from. I ended up getting this like long jean dress. I didn't show y'all how it looked on. It's like a button down long jean dress that I can probably wear with like some sneakers and a hat. It could be like a chill day fit like while I'm going to different events during the day. This is definitely a night dress. This here that I can wear to dinner. It looks so ugly like when it was hanging up, but I'm so glad I tried it on because it actually looks really good on. This is really cute. What else did I get? I spent like $400 and I got like three things. Is that a... Oh, and I got this black jean tube dress. I really wish they had the more, cause this is black. I really wish they had the denim one. I needed a large and they had like a, they only had a medium. So I had to get the black denim tube dress. It does look cute on. This is another thing that I can like dress down or dress up. That's cute. Oh, I got shoes. These are cute and comfy. These little black slingbacks. Little black slingback heels. Cute. How much were these? $50? Yeah, $50. And then oh, I got jewelry as well. They have the best. I love Zara's costume jewelry. They have the cutest costume jewelry. I got a necklace. He's down there playing the game, so he's yelling. Oh, these earrings, super cute. Oh, I love a big, over-exaggerated statement earring. So cute. And then, oh, I got these as well. Like just some little dainty, or some little dainty ones, that's cute. And then I stopped in Mango. They had some cute stuff in there, but I, I don't know. They had like cute jewelry and accessories. I have to go back. I was actually kind of tired after Zara. I just popped in to see what they had. I ended up getting some earrings. Just 
some more earrings. Told y'all I'm a sucker for some statement gold earrings. Love, 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 love. So that's it. I still feel like I don't have any clothes, but it is what it is. <laughs> I leave in a few days. If I need to go shopping in New York, which I really don't want to have to do. I'm gonna try these earrings on. Oh, I also got some light bulbs, y'all. That I, There's no reason I should be this excited for these damn light bulbs. I gotta take my hair out tonight. I got a lot to do, okay? You girl got a lot to do. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. So my sister influenced me to buy these expensive ass light bulbs. <laughs> they were $15 a pop, but it's gonna add a vibe. I'm gonna put them up here. I was gonna change these pendant lights um, originally, but I'm not upgrading these people's house too much. I was gonna change out all the, the furnishings and stuff. Is that what it's called? The fixtures, the fixtures and stuff. I was like, girl, let's you get your own house. So anyway, you're supposed to be able to download an app and then change the color of the light bulbs through the app. It also connects with Alexa, Hey Google. I don't have a Hey Google or Alexa. That's lame. Okay, so what's the app? Requires pairing to a voice assistant sold separately. I thought I could just download an app. I'm about to call my sister. I was so excited for these light bulbs. So you need Alexa. Requires pairing to a voice assistant. Why? Like, why don't they just have a separate app? This is what happens when you don't read. Y'all know I don't read nothing. Hi, girl. Girl, why you tell me these stupid ass light bulbs you need to have an Alexa for? Dude, it does not need an Alexa. Oh, it because it says it says requires pairing to a voice assistant sold separately. So if you want to pair it to something, yeah. Like oh. As far as like telling it to turn on and stuff like that. But you just have do you do you have an app? Yeah, mine told me to download an app. Okay, okay. Oh, sync. Oh, okay, girl, I was so upset. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Cause I was about to, yeah, I was about to get on you about that. <laughs> Let's see, I wanna see you um, screw them in. Okay, well, I'm vlogging, so I'm gonna have to hang up so I can do it. Rats. <laughs> Bye. Um. Oh my God, they be down there getting on my nerves, all that goddamn yelling. Bulb number It's a lot going on. <laughs> Look for the blinking light. Why is that blinking? Tap the image to make the device blink. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm so glad they're dimmable because when I turned them on, I was like, oh, these are bright. So you can dim them. That's the brightest. And then you can dim them. Oh, I love that. Oh, I hate when stuff is too bright. Okay, so that's fire. But where are the colors at? Okay, then they go, Woo. Why is that turning color? Ooh. Cute. And there's no reason I should be this excited. <laughs> But it's the small things that make me so excited, y'all. You just switch the colors. It has a whole rainbow here. And you can just choose what colors you want. Okay, I love that for us. I'm gonna link these light bulbs below. They're, I got them from Target, but you can also get them on Amazon. But I'm gonna link them for you guys. So if you wanna set some mood lighting in your house, it's a vibe.
Hey y'all, clearly it's the next day. I went and got my hair done. Um, of course, my girl Tanji. If you're in the Atlanta area, check her out. Tell her I sent you if you go. And then, excuse me. I just had some, I was super starving. Got that new Chick-fil-A sandwich. It's like a pimento honey something. It was good, but I just feel like, like you ever just eat something and you just, I don't know. I wish I would have had a salad. And then I stopped by Zara again today because I wanted to get these shoes that I seen yesterday and I couldn't stop thinking about them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go back and get the shoes, but they didn't have my size. And then I picked up this cute little bag. This is cute. So I didn't get the shoes, but I ended up getting this cute little bag. I needed some new um, clutches. So this is cute. It's gold and silver. So don't y'all know, I, the most confusing thing happened because there was a sticker on here. There was originally a sticker on here and it was like $30, $35. Well, that's what I thought it was. And then I got up to the front and she scanned it and she's like, okay, that'll be 70 75 and I was like wait pause and then the other associate was like yeah um did you tell her the American price and I was like what the fuck you mean American price they still had the European sticker on here and I was like wait so the European price is half of the American price what type of shit is that what type of shit is that and it almost made me like want to put it back because I was like someone out there is paying half of what I'm about to pay for this purse and that just did not sit right with me. Has that ever happened y'all? I don't know if that's the same thing when people like go to Europe to get their expensive handbags and things because it's so much cheaper, but like this is Zara, not Chanel. Like why are you, I was just a little confused. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about to head into Target. Is it really a trip if you don't have to stop by Target? And I genuinely need like two things. Let's see what I come out with. <laughs> Y'all, Teddy be cracking me up when he has a haircut. He's so skinny. Teddy, you got your haircut. Yes, now you can see. Now I can see your balls. His balls have gotten really big. He's um, <laughs> he's supposed to be getting neutered in the next few weeks here. Vontae was trying to hold off on neutering him. He was like, I want to get his eggs fro- or not his eggs. I want to get his sperm frozen. I was like, please, he is not a human. Like, I don't plan on mating him with anyone. All right, y'all. Y'all know the drill, put my nails on. I was almost, y'all don't even know, I was this close to just going to the nail salon. I made an appointment. I made an appointment and the only, because first and foremost, I like to press on nails, they cool. But sometimes they be pressing on, and sometimes they be popping off. It's like, I'll do a set and they'll be really good for like a week, a week and a half, and then I'll do another set and four days later, they're popping off. And honestly, I didn't have time. I don't have time to be worrying about my nails. The only reason I didn't go to my nail appointment was because one, I promised myself I'm gonna stick with doing my own nails for a little bit. And two, after getting my hair done, I was like, I refuse to sit for another two hours after I just sat for two hours getting my hair done. I was like, you know what, I'm just, I don't even feel like it. We got nails at home. Just like we got food at home, we got nails at home. Oh my God, I was thirsty. Finally got comfortable enough to use the drill. So I'm gonna be drilling, doing my nails. Oh, I just noticed, I was editing before I got my hair done, and I noticed we never even talked about, what's that show? The Ultimatum. We never even talked about the Ultimatum. So one thing about me, I will watch an entire season of a reality show and not know nobody's names. So I will start off by saying, I thought this season was gonna be real good. And this is a spoiler, so skip ahead if you haven't watched The Ultimatum and you uh, are going to watch, you plan on watching. So from episode one and two, I was like, oh, this season gonna be good. This season is gonna be too good because the drama, this couple here, I'm just gonna like insert their faces. This couple here was the drama, okay? First and foremost, sis had no business even signing up to get on this show. She was not with it. Like, as soon as he started to talk to other women, and as soon as, started, and as, soon as other women started to give him some attention, because he was actually going along with the experiment as he was supposed to, 
She got an attitude, she started acting up. She started acting really embarrassing. Honestly, it's not like we don't know what this show is all about. It's not like you don't know what she signed up for, sis. Why are you acting like that? There ain't no way I'm gonna be on national television calling other women out of their name. She called her a Hooters bitch about 10 times. And what's wrong with, what's wrong with working at Hooters? Cause y'all know I worked at Hooters all through college. So I don't, I don't, don't play with her just cause she worked at Hooters. And she was such a sweet girl, the other girl, the other girl, her. She was such a sweet girl. Um, not that she was perfect because she was kind of getting on my nerves with her man as well. And then, what was this episode three? This is when I posted on my story because I was just fed up. When they came out, I was like, oh, well, they have to leave the show because she's pregnant. And I'm not gonna hold you. I already watched the reunion and everything. So now I know that she actually had her baby. But I'm not gonna hold you. There was doubts. I was like, this girl is not, like, she's not pregnant. Like, y'all are playing. And then I went to go find her Instagram and there wasn't nothing on Instagram. I was like, she lied. Like, they lied and I don't like that. <laughs> But she did end up being pregnant. And I was like, oh, that's good for them. I was really mad because I feel like they took the spot of another couple that could have made the season juicier. Like, but now we're down a couple. They were the drama. The drama kind of left. And after that, I was like, really, I don't even want to watch this anymore. But I continued to watch. And what I got from this season was basically none of these couples needed to be... In my, in, in my opinion, I didn't think all of them were gonna say yes. Cause I was like, why is everyone saying yes? What, what couple was really a red flag to me? Oh, that girl that was like so work oriented, her and her man, I do agree. I feel like she doesn't respect him. Like, but I feel like she needs, the type of woman she is, she needs someone who she can walk all over. That's, I just feel like she needs that. He's super sweet, he's such a gentleman, but at the end of the day, I feel like she gives like she walks all over him vibes and that's what she needs because as soon as she was paired with someone who was like on the same shit as her kind and she was like, oh, I don't like him, but even though he was a piece of shit too, him, I didn't really like him with her because obviously it gave that he walks all over her. It just, it just that's what it gave. Gave narcissistic, it gave she was just, kind of, I'm not gonna say ditzy, but she was just like, she just, I don't want to say anything bad about the girl. She's just a very sweet woman who really don't have much of a, uh, she don't have much to say. But this season all in all, like season one, I remember really liking season one. Season one was good. And then did you guys watch the Love is Blind um, after the altar? I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but uh, y'all can give me the tea on that. Is it worth even watching? Is it worth even watching, y'all? Uh, because, yeah. I'm tired. I still have to finish packing. Oh, I gotta do my lashes too. Being a DIY girly <laughs> is a lot. You gotta make time in your schedule now. But I'm gonna get it all done. Oh, these are super long too. Y'all know these coming down. Y'all know these coming down. Why would they make these this long? There's no reason for nobody to be able to be that long. Girl, please. What y'all know about this? Y'all don't know nothing about this drill. <laughs> y'all don't know nothing about this. Nail Tech Lex. I'll be taking appointments. Soon come. <laughs> okay, lashes, check. Nails, check. We're all packed up and ready to go. Check. Oh, it is something I wanted to share with y'all before um, I pack this up and forget. Oh my God, y'all, I got a new scent. I got a new scent. This is kind of a mess here. What's going on? What's going on? Everything's in here. Okay, let me tell y'all about my best friend. My new best friend. Oh, she's smell. Okay, so she's called Italica by Casa Marati. Yo. No, because when I tell you I opened up and smelt it for the first time, I think I about fell in love. And I almost, damn, why my vanity light always be doing that to me? And, um, and to be honest, I was almost going to gatekeep it. I was almost gonna be like, this is gonna be my signature scent. I usually share all my scents, but this one right here. But then I was like, girl, 
you on social media, you can't be gatekeeping nothing. So when I tell you, I have found my perfect fall and winter scent. Like I don't want to smell like nothing else all season. So let me tell y'all, I don't know what the name of it is. It's Italica, no, Italica Zerjoff Perfume. It's super cozy, long. I will say it's long lasting. I kept sniffing myself all day because I was wearing it and I was like, oh. Even, I sprayed it before I got my hair done and after I did all those um, errands and stuff, I still smelled so good. So it has notes of almond and milk, warmed by hints of spicy saffron and leading to a sweet heart of bourbon, vanilla, and irresistible toffee. It's super cozy, super, if you're not like a, I think they call it sweet Armand, sweet Armand. Armand, sweet Armand scents. If you're not a sweet girl, y'all know I'm a vanilla girl, sweet girl all day and night. If you're not a sweet person, I wouldn't recommend. But I'm gonna leave um, a link down below for you guys. And if you want like a sample, like go to the mall, try to find a sample. But if you're a vanilla, cozy, almond, like it smells like you literally took me out of the oven and I was baking and like in another life out was a fucking sweet biscuit. Like, oh girl, I can't, like it literally smells so good. Okay guys, so it's 12 o'clock at night. My flight leaves at 10. I'm probably gonna be up all night cause I wanna edit this, have it up so I can post something while I'm in New York. Um, honestly, I didn't do much this vlog. It's just a chill filler vlog until the real content, the real fashion week content comes. I have no idea what to expect first time, but stay tuned for the next vlog. I have no, I have no idea. Like, I don't know what I'm in for, but I'm gonna obviously be vlogging the whole thing. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out Ritual. Once again, this is my QR code. Love you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch y'all on my next vlog. See ya.